Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Making an Impact with Zebu Nation and today we have for you game 30 something, game 32 of the 2019 MLS regular season. That's right, we're winding down our second season in Major League Soccer and uh, you know we've hit definitely a rough spot, a bumpy uh, part of the road here. Now you've seen recently we've been distracted a little bit with our Team Canada duties, but for the most part, our Major League Soccer team here, the Montreal Impact, we're just on a bad streak, and I don't know why. I can't, I can't really explain it. We have hit a uh, difficult portion of our schedule. I mean, we're playing a lot of good teams, but still, you look at our recent form, it's no good. No wins in the last five matches, and because of that, we've dropped down the table. After 31 games, we're sitting in fourth place as the rest of the teams in the league have sort of caught up to us in terms of numbers of games played. We got 13 wins, 6 draws, 12 losses, total of 45 points, plus 7 goal differential, so that's good. We're essentially tied with DC United in everything except for goal differential, where we've got them beat pretty handily. But if we're not careful, we could actually miss the playoffs this season. You know, Atlanta United down here in seventh spot is only three points away from us. Oops, we just got a, uh, it never fails, it never fails. We always sort of alert from Microsoft or whomever. Anyway, as I was saying, we got to be careful. We got to start winning some games here or teams like Atlanta and Toronto are going to catch up to us and, uh, you know, might knock us out of the playoffs. So we got to end this streak we got to end it uh, hopefully today because today is really going to be our easiest game left. We got today the Chicago Fire. After that, we've got LA and Philadelphia to finish out the season. So those are two tough games to end with. So we really need a win today against Chicago who are down. They're in 10th place in the Eastern Conference, 17th place in the Supporters' Shield overall. So they've got a bit a bit of a down season this year. They lost their coach earlier. Their coach went over and took took over the New York Red Bulls. So he's had uh, no they took he took over NYC FC. That's right. So I I don't know why you'd move from Chicago to NYC. Maybe they got slightly better resources there. I don't know. Let's take a look at Chicago. See what they're up to. Their league history has been up and down. They were pretty bad. 2015, 2016, not so good. It, you know, they're on the rise, I guess, this season or the last few seasons. But this season, we'll probably see them dip down again. Let's take a look at their transfer history. What have they done this year? Not a lot. In the early season, they picked up, you know, draftees and such like that. They got one zone, one zone, one loan from America de Cali. They picked up Romir Balanta. Attacking midfielder, 26-year-old Colombian. He looks okay. Nothing uh, spectacular or anything like that, but he's all right. They lost uh, early in the season Rafael Ramos. Got a lot of money for him, but didn't do much with that money. So I don't know. Chicago just kind of stood pat. How's their roster? Do they actually have players? They do. They got 28 players, so you can't blame that. As the reason why they're not doing so good. They got three designated players, nine internationals, ten off budget players. So they've actually managed their roster pretty well. Um their their number one designated player here, Mov Sizian, is out on international duty right now, so he's not gonna be much help. But they still got Nikolic, they still got Schweinsteiger. Dax McCarty's injured, that doesn't help him out. They still have a pretty decent team. I don't know why they're losing. But sometimes that happens. Maybe their coach was uh, the guy who was holding everything together. I don't know. It still looks like they've got a pretty good roster. Brilliant is an okay player. Alash is okay. Hmm. It's just one of those one of those seasons, I guess. There, they Chicago just can't put it together for whatever reason. But anyway, um. Yeah, that's Chicago. That's who we're playing today. I don't think there's much else we really need to go over at this point in the season. Hopefully, you know where everybody's at and what's going on. Here's our losing streak. Not so good. So anyway, let's uh, let's go. 
<laughs> Not nothing else to say. We're going to submit our team. We just played the Canadian National Under 23s team. So this game is happening like, you know, less than 24 hours later. So we had to fly from Puerto Rico all the way to Chicago to play this game. Here they are. They're going with the Stargate formation with the pyramid down here with McCarty, Schweinsteiger. McCarty is going to play injured, I guess. But yeah, I mean, this is a decent team. I don't know. Well, maybe central defense. They're not so great. Kapilov, Alash. Alash is more of a midfielder. I don't know if he's really great at central defense. Solignac up top is their leading assist man. I'm pretty sure that's what that symbol means. Yep, most assists, nine assists on the season. That's okay, I guess. They're putting Nikolic up top. Balanta out left. I thought he was a right winger, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And speaking of doing what you got to do, we've put the only lineup we could put in there. We are missing so many players right now who are out on international duty. It's ridiculous. So we've got Kropo in goal. Tran getting his first start in a while at left fullback. Duvern on the right. Move Taylor inside from the fullback position. He's taking the captain's armband. Going to be paired up with Cabrera in midfield. And we're going with the 4-2-3-1. So we're changing up our formation. See if that'll help. Toure and Andre in the midfield. Um, Pace up top as the advanced playmaker. Out on the wings, we got Vargas and Mane. And up top, old man Mancosu is getting a start. He doesn't have a ton of starts this season, so I think we're pretty safe. Career stats, he's only got seven appearances. So if he reaches 15, then we have to sign him for next season. So, you know... We can, we can play him for three or four more games and be safe. No problems. So let's go. Dressing room. Pep talk. We need to break this streak. How do we... Uh, let's see. Work hard to end this week. This poor... Uh, poor run of form that we're on. Yes. It's too early in the morning. It's like, uh, I don't know, nine in the morning. I shouldn't be really doing this at this time. But you know what? I got stuff to do, so this is uh, when I got to do it. Let's let's get to it anyway. Um, help me, assistant coach, please save me from my own ramblings. Um, Nikolic definitely gonna close down on him. Solignac gonna close down on him. I guess Balanta might as well join the party. Um, number nineteen here on the wing, Anibaba. He might come forward, so we'll close down on him a little bit. And let's go. Um, yes, yes, yes. Anything else? No. Tunnel. Jeremy Lanny from the Montreal Soccer Post approaches you in the tunnel. Both teams have come into this one in poor form. So is, is this a good opportunity to arrest your recent struggles? I guess. Sure. It's a great opportunity to shake off our malaise. Yeah, yeah. How much is um, Movsizian's absence... How much of a boost is that to your chance of winning? Sure, any team would miss his caliber of player. Get out of here. All right, here we are. Toyota Stadium. There's too many Toyota Stadiums. There's at least two, and that's one too many, right? There's one in Dallas. And there's one in Chicago. Toyota, what are you doing? You're selling your naming rights to everybody. Do they make Toyotas in Chicago? I don't know. Do they have some sort of headquarters in Chicago? Who can tell these days with multinational global corporations? They can be anywhere and everywhere all at once. Here's Vargas. This is a pretty long highlight for the first highlight of the game. Mane is looking forward. Can't, uh, can't do much. And here's Chicago. Nope. Almost, almost we're on the break there. But Nikolic couldn't catch up with it. Two minutes in, got another highlight. Throw in near side to Pace. He's looking around, gets it back to Duvern. Forward to Mane. Is he going to try to make a run for it? He does. He makes a run. This is what he's good at. Sends the cross in. Back post Vargas. Can't get the head on it. We don't really have any big guys in the lineup right now. Ouch. Andre gets taken out, but Toure is there to recover. This might be Toure's best position is just, you know, being a another guy in the midfield instead of trying to be the guy in the midfield there's a turnover by Mane Nikolic starts the counterattack for Chicago Balanta 
Looking to get by Duvern. He does. Duver wow. Wow. Balanta just made our defense look foolish right there. And hit Solignac on the back post for the easy goal. Watch this. Balanta just running, running, running outside. Inside. Puts a move. One move. Two moves. And then easy goal. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fullbacks, man. Fullbacks. What are you doing? Duvern and Tran just teamed up to get beat. I mean, Tran's not the greatest player in the world, but he should know by now how to defend the back post. He is lacking a little match sharpness, so we can, you know, grant him that. But now we're a goal down. Can't mess around. Mane can't win it. Balanta again, gotta watch him. Schweinsteiger, Kapilov. Boy, they're playing risky. They're sending their left fullback forward. This guy here, Kemp, is going forward. Let's uh, close down on him. They send a long ball forward, but Tran is there. Let's see what he can do with it. Just going to drop it back and restart things. Crepeau. And that was an interesting play. Just a little short tap to Cabrera. Duvern. Harassed. Huh. I've never seen our team play like this. Definitely playing very cautious. Here's Vargas now. Down the wing. This is what we like to see. Get forward. Bad pass, but Andre is going to track it down. Got Mane, bad pass. He's still got Mane. Mane just sort of shoots it. I mean, that was okay, I guess. Coach thinks we should try a more direct passing. What are we on? We're on standard retain possession. Basic stuff. Pace gets it to Toure. Toure takes a shot wide. Somebody else is losing, so we've moved up to fourth position. They're still in their Stargate formation. Here's Toure. Come on. Toure. On goal. In goal. There it is. Unbelievable free kick goal. Undefensible shot, really. Top corner like that. It's just so difficult to get there and stop that. Off the crossbar and in. Yaya Toure for his, like... Fourth goal of the season, maybe? Anyway, the highlights are coming fast and furious. Corner kick's no good, but Andre tracks it down. He's going to try to send it back in. Taylor, the big man. Big central defender slash fullback. Can't... He can get ahead on a lot of... A lot of crosses, but... His heading is actually only 10, so he's not very accurate at all. 17 jumping reach... You know, he'll reach a lot of stuff, but he just not very skilled at it, unfortunately. That's why I prefer playing him at fullback rather than central defense. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. If Tran plays particularly poorly, we could do a shift. We could shift Taylor to fullback, Cabrera to left central defense, bring Duvern down to right central defense, bring in Salmon at the right fullback. But so far, Tran's playing okay. 6.5 rating is, you know, sort of all right. It's it's our forwards that aren't well, looking too good. Mancosu, Vargas, Pace, not playing very well at all. Mane is just sort of average. So we need a little bit more production. We could bring in Dupuy, possibly, give us a target. You know, if Mancosu is going to sit there and have a 6.3 rating, no reason to keep him in. Um, analysis. So they want us to work the ball in the box, try more direct passing. Uh, we're putting poor deliveries and not getting on the end of them, so try whipped crosses. I like that. All right, I think we are going to bring in... Dupuy for Mancosu. Give us a target man up top to, uh, you know, somewhere to focus the offense, I think. 
And we'll make some team instructions. We'll work the ball in the box. We'll do what the coach asks. More direct passing. And uh, whipped crosses, right? Yeah. Yeah, whipped crosses. There we go. All right. So we've made our tactical adjustments here. Let's give the old pep talk. Um, we've been the better team here. Just keep it up, I guess. No. Nope. All right. All right. Let's go. Second half. That first half was pretty quick. We are on extended highlights. I always have to check that out. Kappelhoff gets one up to Belanta. Dax McCarty is injured, but he's playing. Solignac, the goal scorer. We've got to keep an eye on him. He sends one in. Crapo has to save it. Hmm. Cabrera looks really small in central defense. Anyway, here's McCarty. Sends one out to Belanta, who just fires it over the net. It's a pretty decent crowd in Chicago. Not a full, not a full stadium, but still pretty decent. Chicago's got a pretty good fan base, from what I can tell. There are some games, of course, you know, like midweek games and whatnot, where maybe they don't get quite as many fans in the stands, but. For the most part, I think Chicago's got pretty good fans, pretty loyal fans. Pace has it now, centers to Toure. Can Toure get a second goal? No. He can just sort of send it uh, wide. I don't know if that was a cross or a shot, but it was terrible, whatever it was. Um, Anibaba with a throw in for Chicago. Nice steal by Vargas. Vargas on the run. What kind of pass was that? That was horrific. He, he should have just ran down the sideline. I don't know what that was all about. Tried to get it forward to the target man. But yeah. So we're just stopping our own counterattacks now, apparently. We've struggled to keep possession. 60 minutes in, we haven't done much of anything. Our ratings have gone up a little bit. McCarty off, brilliant on. So they must have moved uh, somebody else up into the midfield. Here's another corner. Balanta centers to Alash. They moved Alash up front from central defense. I told you he was more of a midfielder. Uh, there's a good defensive play by Cabrera. Gets it out, but Kemp is going to recover, and Chicago is going to start their attack again. There's Alash. Gets it forward to Nikolic. Nice save again by Cabrera. And Solignac just sends it wide. Cabrera may be a little bit undersized, but he is still pretty good. Six feet. I mean, that's all right. Crapo sends it downfield. Six feet is really sort of the minimum you'd want for a central defender. Oh, there's a big tackle. Gets it out wide to Manny. Let's see if we can start the, start the attack. Andre to Pace. Pace, what are you doing back there, buddy? You're supposed to be the advanced playmaker, not the deep line playmaker. Let's go. Manny out wide. He's going to try to make a run. Can he get it to the target man? No, he back post to Vargas. Nobody ever wants to send the ball to Dupuy. I don't know. I don't know what it is about this guy. People just don't like him for some reason. Come on, guys. He's our main offensive weapon right now. you got to get him the ball. Now, you could probably argue that Vargas is our main offensive weapon on the field right now. He's probably our best player out there, but still. Dupuy is the target man. Send it to the target man. Here's Balanta. Another free kick. Another miss. 70 minutes down. Not the most exciting game we've ever seen. Seven shots to six. Only two on target for us. Only one on target for them. 13 fouls, though. One yellow card. We've had 46% of possession. There's a lash. Tries to get it forward, but Duvern recovers easily. Looks like Chicago is pressing. Nikolic sends it wide. So we should be able to catch them on some sort of counterattack, right? If they're going to be pressing up the field like that. Nikolic, Nikolic looking, a lash out wide. Solignac sends it cross field to Balanta. Takes the shot. 
Belanta's really the only guy we want to keep the ball away from. Well, I guess him and Nikolic want to keep the ball away from those two guys. Here's Belanta on the free kick. Hmm. 81 minutes. Not a lot going on here. Another highlight. There's a big tackle outside by Duvern. Balanta recovers, though, and Duvern tackles him, too. But Chicago retains possession. They're going to get another corner out of it. I don't know what it is. We can't get the ball down the field. There's a good header. Cabrera's going to chase it down. He's going to play it back to Crepeau. And we're going to lose possession again, probably. Nope, Mane sort of gets there, but no highlight to come. Here we go. Here's Tran with a throw in. Down to Pace. Pace centers to Andre. Let's go. Vargas out wide to Tran, who has to track back for it. Chicago's really putting on the pressure right now. Vargas, oh, great pass out to Manny. Manny, can you get it forward? Nope. Gets stolen in the middle by Ribeiro. Nikolic tries to get it forward, but Tran is there. Toure is going to start the counterattack. He's got Vargas. He tries to send it to Dupuy, though. Dupuy's not going to chase that down. He had Vargas streaking down the left-hand side. Why didn't he get it to Vargas? Bad, bad pass. Garcia to Kemp. Kemp forward to Belanta. Belanta. Oh, Solignac behind the defense. Bad shot. It was a, he shot it right at the goalkeeper, even though he had a wide open goal. So we got lucky there. 88 minutes and counting. I don't think uh, this is going to be a win for us. Here we go. Pace can't get the steal. Polster tries to get it forward. Nikolic has it. He's tackled. Andre is all over the field today. Yaya Toure gets it up to Pace. Again, he's got Vargas. Vargas on the run. Let's go. Dupuy steaming towards the goal. Can't get it to him. Brilliant is there on defense. Chicago starts the counterattack. Tries to split the defense, but Cabrera is there. He gets wiped out by Nikolic. Solignac can't beat Tran. So now we're starting to get some highlights back and forth. No, nope, can't get the ball to Dupuy. Nikolic again tries to get it out wide. Balanta's going to have to run for that one. Sends it back in, but there's Cabrera, the ever-present Cabrera. He's played well. Defensively, I think we've played okay, other than that first goal they got against us. It's been our offense that's let us down. Two minutes. What can we do with two minutes left? Bring Romero in. And Watts. No, no. It's not really a lot that can happen here. Um, like, we could move... Vargas inside for pace. I mean, is that really anything we want to do? What, what's Vargas look like here? No. No. All right, we'll just run out the last two minutes and see what happens. Uh, Duvern gets a yellow card. <sighs> Taylor has it. This is probably be the last highlight, and it is. Yeah. Draw City with Chicago. That's not good. Highlights. I mean, Toure played well. 8.3 in a goal. So that is really his best position. He did get the player of the match. Vargas, Dupuy. Yeah. 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 Just not looking good. I don't know what it is. We've lost our mojo. Unlucky, boys. It wasn't our night. I mean, we have been disrupted by the national team. There's no, no question about that. We've been disrupted, I think, 
by our some of our injuries, especially to Jackson Amell. He was sort of you know out for a while. He's the one significant injury that we can point to and say this guy was a starter and he was our leading goal scorer. Now that he's out, we've struggled to score goals, I guess. But just as a team, we've been very flat, very lackluster. Everybody's everybody's tired. Everybody's got injury risk. I mean, it is the late late season. It's getting towards the end of the season. MLS is a bit of a grind. You know, all the travel, all the national team stuff, the injuries, it's sort of piling up. Bruno out for three or four days. So we're going to have to slog through and get to the playoffs. Luckily, we've managed to keep our position, drop to fifth at 46 points overall. Toronto and Atlanta stumbled a little bit as well, so they're now four points back, so that's good. As of right now, we're safe in the playoffs, but with two games left, anything could still happen. So we're going to have to play out those two games. Look at our league position. is really stagnated here. Drop down to... 10th in the supporter shield which we're supposed to sp finish top half so that's good enough so far um, they just want us to reach the wild card in terms of expectations from the board so right now we're well on our way to making board expectations but we're not playing well we're not playing well at all we gotta we gotta put it together in these last two games time is running out to put it together otherwise it's gonna be a real short trip in the playoffs so, until next time, which will be our big, big game versus LA Galaxy. See what the fuss is all about. Number one team in the league. Until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.